The Galveston hurricane of 1900 is the deadliest natural disaster on American soil. It's estimated that 20% of Galvestonians lost their lives in the storm. That's 8,000 people, although the exact number will never truly be known. It's something that you think about when you come here. You know, a lot of times a lot of people just view Galveston as a tourist destination. There was just such a devastating, almost instantaneous loss of life in one place. I mean, it's hard to think that it's not haunted in some way. They were overwhelmed. I mean, they were, looked out their window and all they could see was disaster and loss and people who were dead. And there was then a very concerted effort to put them on barges, the bodies, and should take them out into the Gulf of Mexico. And that didn't work because the bodies washed back in. Survivors were left with little closure. People started to experience the supernatural. We have had so much activity in the hotel. The first month I was here, there was reports of a little girl in white showing herself three different times out at our hot tub. What that told me, if she could walk out to the hot tub, there's nothing that holds her here. It's in the land. Well, there's always spooky stories in Galveston. Uh, because of the devastation, you have to understand the night of the storm. There was over 6,000 lives lost on the island alone. Longfellow said in one of his poems, there is no home where a man has lived and died that is not haunted. Our children, that uh, I definitely think came from the 1900 storm. We did have a medium who visited many years ago who specifically asked the children in the hotel, well, how did you get here? And one little boy very proudly came up saying, it was me, it was me, it was me. He said, we walked and we walked and we walked and then we found our castle. This is actually one, uh, the gentleman actually took this photo. Uh, he felt pressure on the bed. They actually did my ghost tour and dinner. Mm -hmm. It was him and his wife. His wife was in the restroom, the closed door here, and he felt pressure on the bed. He says, I remembered what you said. I reached and got my phone. And she is definitely there. And she is wearing, to me, what looks like night clothes. Mm -hmm. And you can see the split down the middle, and I think it's a robe. I think that a lot of the children that we see from the 1900 storm might have passed away in their night clothes. Whether or not you believe in ghosts, the lore still brings plenty of tourists to the city of Galveston, but the city is still vulnerable to hurricanes. Let's face it, not much stands between the mighty Gulf of Mexico and this charmed city.